SpaceX's Raptor 3, the engine that could finally conquer full flow efficiency without melting itself. Sounds impossible, right? Because for years, melting has been the Raptor's biggest problem. Every test, every flight, those engines push the limits of what metal can survive. But now, things are changing. Let's break this down. Raptor isn't a normal rocket engine. It's a full-flow, staged combustion monster. That means both the fuel and the oxidizer are pre-burned before hitting the main chamber. It's the most efficient rocket cycle ever built, but it runs hotter and harder than anything before it. We're talking 330 bar of pressure and exhaust temperatures over 3,000 degrees Celsius. One wrong oscillation and the whole thing can literally vaporize itself. Early Raptors did exactly that. They melted, leaked, even tore apart mid-burn. But Raptor 3? It's a different beast. SpaceX has re-engineered everything, from the turbo pumps to the cooling channels, with a new alloy structure and tighter injector design. The result? More thrust, less weight, and way better cooling. Now here's the crazy part. Each Raptor 3 pushes nearly 269 tons of thrust. 33 of them together could lift more than 8,000 tons off the pad. That's raw, brute force power, yet designed to be reused again and again like jet engines. But the question is, can it survive the full flow test without cooking itself from the inside out? That's what Flight 11 will show us. These engines will burn longer, harder, and hotter than ever before. If they hold, SpaceX doesn't just have a working rocket, they'll have the world's first fully reusable full-flow engine, something no country, no agency, no company has ever achieved. That means cheaper launches, faster turnaround, and yes, the next step toward Mars. So, can Raptor 3 handle the heat? We're about to find out. Because at SpaceX, failure isn't the end, it's just another countdown. And if this engine survives its own fire, Starship's next flight might not just reach orbit, it might redefine spaceflight itself.